Neener, 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 neener. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first installment ever of A Sermon Without German. Because at home, as long as you wash your hands first, it's safe to touch your face. Um, a hearty welcome to all of you and all of my best wishes as you practice good social distancing. Um, in the spirit of social distancing, I figured I have the link to the Bible verse in uh, the description below, and you can read the gospel on your own. It's really long. But basically, Jesus runs into this woman at Jacob's well, and this woman is a Samaritan, and she's a woman, and men and women don't talk in public, and Jews and Samaritans don't talk in public, and what does Jesus do? But he asks her for a drink of water, and this woman is understandably taken aback, and then Jesus offers her living water. Living water, he says, that you will become a spring of water that will gush up into eternity. And this woman, after encountering Jesus, the living God on earth, um, goes off and tells the good news and she preaches and people come to believe in Jesus uh, because of this woman and her sharing the word. And so, you know what? It couldn't have been a more perfect reading for our cur current situation um, because it deals with matters of cleanliness and uncleanliness and water, right? And Jesus sees this person that should be unclean, right? Cast off uh, out of society, not following the rules, um, a little bit dirty, if you may say. And Jesus talks with her and brings his light and love to her. And she winds up transformed by that transgression of boundaries. And so, yeah, it's kind of scary what's going on today, especially with COVID-19 or coronavirus, whatever you'd like to call it. And um, certainly there's lots of kind of social stuff to go along with that, right? We hear, you know, some people are calling it the Chinese virus. Um, I think people are panic buying and going and buying all of the toilet paper they can find. Um, but we have to, because of Jesus's good news that he has the living water and that we enter into that living water um, in baptism, that we're free to care for people and look at them for who they really are, right? To follow guidelines that we hear and to stay informed um, by our public health professionals, but also to treat each other with kindness, whether it's not hoarding toilet paper or it's checking in with someone who might be lonely. Um, because we know that our lives are in God's hands, um, we can be smart, but also we can be free to know that even in the bleakest moments, that those, that fountain of living water that is Jesus um, will carry us uh, into eternal life. So I hope you are doing well. I hope you are safe. And I invite you um, to pray with me real briefly. Let's pray. Good and gracious God, we give you thanks for the gift of technology, for people all around the world who are helping each other. And we give you thanks for your saving word and your living water. Help us to be water for others. Keep us safe and healthy and happy. And grant that we all may be cared for until we meet again. Um, since we're trying something new, uh, things are way more fun when they are interactive. So, um, I think I forgot to say amen, amen. So, uh, <laughs> a couple things. Write some comments, either on the Facebook page or on the YouTube page. Um, let me know what you're praying for. Uh, things we might do differently and um, ways we can care for each other. This is new territory and it's going to be interesting to be community um, but physically separated. But remember, even though we can't be right next to each other, um, that we're never alone and we're always connected through that living water as the body of Christ. Um, so be well, God bless you, and tune in again to the next episode of The Sermon Without German. The Sermon Without German podcast is brought to you by Jonah the Dog. 
Jonah, proving Luther right by being simultaneously good dog and bad dog. <laughs>